It's been a month since me and John have had our weight loss surgery. And the doctor now cleared us at our last appointment and able to go back on solid foods. Because me and John are on track and moving along. But without being able to eat anything solid or real, I don't think we could have really gained anything this past month. And now that we can, we are both adjusting to how little we can eat and how weird it feels. What are we having? Uh, chicken and vegetables. Man, that sounds nasty. Oh, it'll be good. It's healthy. Usually, if it's healthy, it's not good. I did get you some rolls, though, so. Oh, thank God I won't starve to death. Got butter? Oh, no, no salt either. I miss the big meals that we used to do. Well, now our life is different, so we can't do the big meals that we used to do. Food has always been there for me. And for the past month, I just haven't really wanted it. So there's this sense of loss that's just really unexpected. But we knew this process wasn't going to be easy, and getting the surgery wasn't going to solve everything. Dr. Now is clear about that. All these emotions and the struggle is just a little bit of a surprise, especially the guilt that my mom is making us feel about the new diet. But I've been trying to handle it like John's been handling it all, one day at a time. You want me to fix it? Yeah, just did it. That looks hot. So. Yeah. Is that enough? I just wish I had some butter. Well, we don't eat butter anymore, so. You don't have any in the back of the refrigerator? No. Nope. No. Nope. Too tempting. You can't cheat or splurge every once in a while? No, no, because then you ruin everything we've worked so hard for. Y'all are tougher than I am. This whole process after surgery has been very different than I thought it would be because most everything we did as a family kind of involved eating a lot. So we've been realizing how much of our lives have always revolved around food together as a family. And giving all that up and trying to change it just isn't easy, especially with our mom. It makes me sad that she feels like being together like this isn't the same. I feel like we're letting her down. But me, Lonnie, and Amber are committed to doing this together no matter what. Me and John are doing our two months post-up follow-up with Dr. Now today. And it's the first time in a few months I'm not looking forward to stepping on the scale again because I know I've been struggling some this past month, especially with the guilt that my mom is making us feel about the new diet. John and Lonnie? At our last appointment, I was down to 515. And Dr. Now said I should be losing at least 25 pounds every month. So that means I should be at 490 today. It's your turn. At my last appointment, I was down to 453. And Dr. Now said I should be losing at least 15 pounds a month now. And I hope I got close to that. That's so good. With all the crap we've had going on. Okay, you guys can go ahead and go to the room. Okay. At least it's a loss. So I'm happy about that. But I'm still worried because I'm not sure Dr. Now's gonna feel the same way. And I don't want him to be upset with me. Come in. Hi, John. Hi, Lonnie. Hello. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you all doing? Hi. So good. All right, let's start with Lonnie. Lonnie, you're down to 446. You only lost seven pounds, which is a big change from the last few months. So what's going on? I don't know. I guess I just, I'm just struggling some. OK. What are you struggling with? I think mostly our mom, because I feel like she's been guilting me and John for not eating like we did. And I know there's been a few times that I've got so frustrated I needed something to help me out. 
Because of the surgery, I couldn't eat much, so I'm glad I didn't overdo it. But I'm guessing that wasn't enough to lead to a smaller weight loss this time, which disappoints me a lot. Well, you know, it's not uh, unusual when you have a weight loss surgery, emotional issue come to the surface and drive you to eat. So the big thing is what we do from here. And what do you do, what you need to learn to cope in healthy ways. So mm -hmm. I'm going to set you up to start psychotherapy, okay? Okay. It's going to be very important for you to start the process now before your weight loss slows any further. Because if you fall back into old habits, you're eventually going to stretch your stomach back out. And undo your weight loss surgery, you're going to start gaining again. So it's very important to deal with the issues that drive you to overeat to prevent that. So is that going to be okay for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try, and I'm, I'm willing to give anything a try, really. Okay. I just want to get to my goals. Okay. Hopefully therapy is going to be a big help for you and hopefully that's going to be uh, something that's going to get you back on track. Okay? Okay. All right. And let's work with John. John, you're down to 492, so you're still on track. So the same issue is not happening with you. So you're making good progress, huh? Yes. You happy with it? I am very happy. All right, but here's the deal. The same thing is happening with Lonnie is likely is going to happen to you. So you're going to need to start psychotherapy soon too. But right now, we're going to start with Lonnie. You're doing good, so stay focused and keep working hard on it, and we'll see how we're doing in a couple of months, okay? All right. You're doing great. Thank you. All right. And John, how is Amber doing? She's doing good. Is she losing any weight? She's lost about 20 pounds. Well, that's good progress, huh? Yeah. So we're going to have the whole family be healthy. All right, Lonnie. So I'm going to set you for therapy, and I'll see you in two months, okay? Okay. Well, nice to see you, John. All right. And Lonnie, Thank I'll you. see you all have later. Day. Okay. I'm very proud and encouraged at John's progress. His weight loss started to slow for a bit, but he's on track for now, and hopefully he's able to keep that going. However, Lonnie is clearly at a different point with how he struggled this past month. When a patient gets weight loss surgery and that physical drive to eat is removed, it's not uncommon that the emotional compulsion starts to come to the surface to drive them to overeat again. And that's the best time to start to address the core issues behind that. And whether or not he turns around to slow down in his progress will depend on the choices he makes dealing with those issues and learning to cope with things in a healthy way. I feel good about how the appointment went. I'm just a little worried about Lonnie. But hopefully therapy will help and he'll be able to figure out what's doing this to him before his weight loss slows more like Dr. Now said. I hope Dr. Now is right about therapy helping me because the last thing I want to let happen is I start backsliding and I end up gaining again. So I'll do whatever it takes to prevent that from happening because that terrifies me.